some hidden gems, some underdogs, and some I absolutely did not see coming. The first four months of 2024 have been full of surprises, outshining expectations, and delivering unexpected hits. But which movies truly blew me away? Let's dive into my top 10. So starting off at number 10, we've got an Amazon Prime movie, Roadhouse. Now I gotta be real with you, I have zero nostalgia for the original Roadhouse. I might not even have been born when it came out, but it seems like everyone knows a thing or two about Dalton, Bouncer's kicking butt, and that cheesy 80s action. This reboot is a complete enigma to me. They've kept the core concept, Jake Gyllenhaal playing a former UFC fighter turned bouncer at this wild Florida Keys bar. But what surprised me was how much fun they managed to have with it. Roadhouse isn't going to snag any Oscars. It's predictable, the acting's kinda cheesy, and the plot. Well, let's just say it's filled with bikers, corrupt businessmen, and a whole lot of unnecessary explosions. But if you're looking for a fun, action-packed throwback, this one's a total guilty pleasure. Moving on to number 9, we've got a Netflix movie scoop. It's a biographical drama about Prince Andrew's infamous BBC Newsnight interview, the one that became a PR disaster and ended up making things a whole lot worse. Now I know what you're thinking. A movie about that interview sounds dry, but trust me, Scoop completely surprised me. It's honestly less about the car crash interview itself and more focused on the behind-the-scenes drama of how it came to be. You can imagine something like The Newsroom meets The Crown, but with a darkly comedic edge to the absurdity of it all. They've got great actors playing these real-life figures, and watching them navigate this high-stakes situation is seriously tense. Okay guys, my number 8 pick is bringing some chills to the list, The First Omen. Yep, it's a prequel to the iconic horror classic, The Omen. Honestly, I went into this with extremely low expectations. Prequels, especially of classic horror movies, can be disastrous. But here's the shocker, The First Omen is surprisingly good. It's genuinely unsettling. They actually managed to build on the mythology of the original without cheapening it. Instead of just rehashing old ideas, the movie explores the time right before young Damien was even born. It's about his parents and the strange, unsettling events that led up to his conception. What surprised me most were the scares. The original Omen had those big, iconic moments, but the first Omen goes for a more psychological, atmospheric type of horror. There's this constant sense of something being just a bit off that stays with you long after the credits roll. Coming up next at number 7, we have got a monster throwdown for the ages, Godzilla x Kong, The New Empire. Yep, it's another entry in the MonsterVerse, and if you love mindless, explosive creature flick, this one delivers the goods. Let's be real, plot-wise, it's pretty much the same setup. Giant monsters duke it out, cities get leveled, humans try not to get squished, but the new empire ramps up the action to insane levels and throws in a bunch of crazy new creatures to keep things interesting. What surprised me was the visuals. The CGI is on another level, and the monster designs are genuinely creative. There's this underground world they introduced that's absolutely stunning. They really took advantage of the big budget to deliver some truly epic spectacle. My number 6 pick might surprise a few of you, but trust me, it's a hidden gem you'll be talking about later. Love Lies Bleeding was one of the most stylish and surprising thrillers of 2024. The plot's a bit complicated to explain without spoilers, but it starts with this ambitious gymnast, Joanna, whose dreams get derailed by a career-ending injury. But then she gets drawn into a super shady wellness program run by a slick, charismatic character. And let's just say, things get weird, bloody, and really, really unsettling from there. What surprised me was how it subverts expectations. You think you're getting a standard sports drama, and then it takes this hard turn into psychological horror and social commentary. It's definitely not for everyone. It's slow-paced, it's disturbing, and it's not afraid to get artsy. All right, for my number five pick, we're shifting gears completely. Let's talk about a heartwarming underdog story with a furry twist. Arthur the King is all about the incredible bond between a man and his dog, set against the backdrop of a grueling endurance race. This Arthur is a scruffy stray dog who captures the heart of Michael Light, played by Mark Wahlberg, a seasoned but struggling adventure racer, desperate for a win. Michael convinces his sponsors to let him bring Arthur along for the wildest, most unpredictable race of his career. It's a heartwarming story about second chances, following your dreams, and the unwavering loyalty of a dog. Wahlberg delivers a surprisingly charming performance, and the bond between him and the dog is what truly elevates the film. 
Coming up next at number 4 is the wildly fun sequel, Ghostbusters – Frozen Empire. Yes, the Ghostbusters are back, and this time they're battling something way more sinister than your average Slimer. The Spengler family returns to the iconic New York City firehouse, where the original Ghostbusters have taken up ghostbusting to the next level. Upon the discovery of an ancient artifact, an evil force is unleashed. Ghostbusters, both seasoned and newcomers, must come together to safeguard their city and prevent a second ice age from engulfing the world. What I loved most was the dynamic between the old and new characters. Seeing the original Ghostbusters back in action is a blast, and the new cast brings their own unique energy. The special effects are top-notch, there are some genuinely scary moments, and I laughed out loud more times than I'd expected. Now on number 3, we have the most recent released movie, Challengers. This film is less about winning matches and more about the emotional struggles, complex relationships, and the relentless drive of professional athletes. The story is set in a future where tennis has evolved into this extreme, gladiator-style combat sport. Zendaya plays Tashi, a former champion turned coach who pushes her husband Art to compete in the big leagues once more. But when Art faces off against her old flame, real tensions ignite, testing their marriage and their dreams on and off the court. What makes Challengers so captivating is how it made a sport like tennis so emotional to watch. The matches are intense, the performances are electric, and there's a raw vulnerability to these characters that makes you root for and against them all at the same time. I never thought I'd get invested in who wins a tennis tournament, but this movie pulls it off. Alright folks, buckle up for a thought-provoking and disturbing ride, because my number two pick is the dystopian thriller Civil War. This isn't your history lesson Civil War, writer-director Alex Garland throws us into a future America ravaged by a brutal civil conflict. We see the conflict not from the perspective of generals or politicians, but from the reporters on the ground, desperately trying to make sense of the chaos and get the truth out. It's a fresh and unsettling approach to a familiar theme. Now Civil War isn't all gritty war reportage. There are moments of surprising humanity, glimpses of hope amidst the destruction. But Garland doesn't shy away from the brutality of war either. This isn't a popcorn flick, it's a thought-provoking exploration of the human cost of conflict. My number one pick for the best movie of 2024 is the epic, highly anticipated conclusion to Villeneuve's masterpiece, Dune, Part 2. If you love the first movie, prepare yourself, because this sequel takes things to a whole new level. Picking up right where Part 1 left off, we follow Paul Atreides and the Freeman deep into the Arrakis Desert, leading a rebellion against the ruthless Harkonnens and the Emperor. The stakes are even higher, the battles grander, and the world of Dune expands in ways that'll leave you breathless. So these are the 10 best movies of 2024 according to me. Please share your thoughts in the comment. Goodbye.